Hey folks, Dave here, and let's take a look at SimCity. This is really exciting for me because SimCity was actually one of the first PC games that I got into way back when I was a kid, and I loved SimCity as a kid, and I was really excited to see that this was coming out. I will say that there have been some issues with the always online requirement here at uh, the launch week. It's been a lot of downtime, but when it's been up, the game is amazing. It is like crack. Myself and Yakko have been playing the daylights out of it. We've got a little uh, region going together, so let's go ahead and take a look. SimCity has a number of regions that you choose from, and each region has a kind of small city area for you to build in. Um, apparently there's some limitations with the amount of simulation going on in the background where the city sizes are a bit smaller, but they also work together really well, and it's neat to be able to, uh, to share regions with your friends and all build cities together. It's kind of neat. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and take a look at my next city that I'm going to start for you guys. Breakman's Folly. I kind of like the sound of that. Abundance of metal deposits. Okay. Both coal and ore. So what we may do here is make a mining town of some kind. Maybe mine some ore. We have uh, rail and shipping available as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and claim that city section for us, and we'll get started here. Uh, what? Alright, here is an overview of our region. This is one of my most recent cities here that I've been working on. And this is Yakko's Oil City. This is my original mining city that I was experimenting with. Let's go ahead and zoom in on Breakman's Folly. Okay. I think we're going to turn this into an ore mining town. Here is our plot of land. We have the central highway actually running through our city. That's going to save us a bit of money on those expensive six lane roads. If you guys have been following this game at all, you know that the uh, amount of detail and simulation in this version is just off the charts. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's so much fun to zoom in and check out your city once it's going. But first things first, we also have a rail line down here, so I'm going to want to connect that because I want, I want all kinds of cool trains going through my city. I'm going to treat this like a model train set. First thing we need to do though is start building some roads, get some power and water set up. Before we do that, I'm going to check our wind map and figure out which way the wind is blowing. Okay, wind is blowing off that way. So, if we're going to burn a nasty coal power plant, we're going to want to have it at the edge of the city where the pollution will be carried off to be someone else's problem. There's our first road in place, a nice fancy dirt road in the woods. We're going to build a nuclear power plant. No, <laughs> no we're not. We're going to build a coal power plant. It's a cool amount of detail. General power and electric. I like it. Alright, we'll add some industry zoning, get some factories coming in here. I'm going to want to keep as much industry as possible on this end of my city area so that all that pollution goes off the city that way. So let's get the residences going down this way a bit. A whole bunch there. And we'll add a little bit of commercial too for the measure. Well, that's building. I'm going to speed it up just a bit. Let's see where our coal and ore is. Okay, we have a very minor coal deposit. I'm not even sure if that's worth mining. This is going to be right in our residential district too. So 
hope our ore is better. Nope, the ore is all over here. Hmm. Well, if we're gonna want to be mining that ore, we have to be really, really careful with the pollution. Then again, this is a mining town that we're gonna be doing, so. Maybe we just won't worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and. Nah, I'm not gonna upgrade those roads yet, it's a little bit expensive right now. We're losing money right now, so I wanna get as many residences up and running as possible. Get those new sims moving into town there. Now, our sims do need some water, which I was neglecting. I'm gonna look for our good water deposits here. And get some water towers up. Yeah, I'll do just one water tower for now. Sewage is gonna be our next issue. Go ahead and put a sewage outlet right there. I will upgrade our road system to help the plumbing underneath. And we're now in the green. We are now making money. And these guys are hungry for some industrial stuff. lay down some more industrial. You see our demands down here. Residential, commercial, and industrial. It seems to be appropriate for a mining town that they want all kinds of factory goodness. Let's see, where were those ore deposits? I want to get an ore, an ore mine going as fast as possible. Sewage, water, and power is all set up. It's time to build our town hall. I'm gonna put it right here near our mining area. See, this is gonna be a mining town. We'll fill this whole back area full of residential areas. I like that original name. Was it Breakman's Folly? That's a nice name for a railroad mining town. Now here under City Specializations is where we can look at our mining equipment. Mining. Okay, we don't have the money for that actually. We will in one hour. Now we do. Go ahead and get that mine up there. Next step is probably going to be upgrading this roadway from dirt to actual pavement to help support 
our new mine. We're going to lay out some more residential zones in there. more industrial too. Now you guys may notice that I'm not making a lot of cross streets. This is because later on in the game uh, intersections become an issue with traffic. So I'm hoping to limit the amount of intersections that I'm going to have. Kind of planning out where I'm going to put some larger highways that I want to kind of go around the um, outskirts of the town. You can see the city of Black Rock in the background there. Let's zoom in and see how things are going down here. Go ahead and slow it down to normal speed. Got a new industrial section going up over here. Harsh Realty. I like it. Our coal plant is humming away nicely. You can also zoom in and see what your sims think in your city. Can we get an oil well? There's so much oil around here. What is he talking about? Is there oil? Oh! Oh wow, there's a there's a big oil deposit down there next to the railroad. That's mm, that is impressive actually. We may have to go after that. But that's going to be in the future. What's also really neat is you can actually pick any one of these sims and follow them. Uh, every sim in your city actually has a name, a job, a home, and a whole backstory. There's a, just an amazing amount of data being tracked for them. Let's go ahead and zoom in on Elliot here. Feeling happy, going home. He's coming from Lazy Llama Luncheon, heading back to his house. I think our residents probably deserve some upgraded roads here. Get our speed going again. Get rid of some of these dirt streets. It's like a wild west out here. The size of your streets is very, very important because with this limited city size, the density of your city is going to be incredibly important. And you have to have roads that support the density of your buildings. Take a look at this building here, this hair glue factory. Uh, he's only at the beginning stages of density. The higher he gets, the more building gets packed into this area right here. And that's definitely a good thing. We've got to make efficient use of our space. 